beautiful Saturday afternoon here in Fayetteville, Arkansas, as we get set for the spring game, and they've come out for the pep rally, and what do you know? It's a car show, a bunch of old cars inside. Here we've got the new cars. That's right, it's the red versus the white from Razorback Stadium here in Fayetteville, Arkansas. So we go from old cars to new cars. Jump later this afternoon. Oh, yeah, there is a different sporting event going on. That should be some fun for the kickers, and we are underway right now as they are just going to have some fun on these returns. I think went live with talk. Coach yeah. talked about it. Next, you walk into the room with him, and you're like, wait, you're the starting quarterback? <laughs> yeah, I thought, I thought he was John Calipari's first recruiter at defensive <laughs> end when he walked into the room. Uh, <laughs> That was... Then maybe they will defensively today. They'll kind of play a little bit of base defense. Oh, a nice spin move right there by Jaquindon Jackson. JJ, the transfer coming over from Utah. They, they're really excited about it. Field. He was originally signed to go to Texas as a quarterback. Yeah. Pressure coming. Oh. That should be a sack. It is. Taylor Green gets sacked by Jaden Allen. Breeze his feet right there for a second, <laughs> hold the ball and create a second down a long situation. Rashad Dubinion in the backfield now here on third down. There's some time to throw over the middle and that pass is caught. It's kept by the quarterback and this is what he can do. They're gonna whistle him down. He's gonna get the first down, but that's what this guy brings to the equation. That, that extra dimension and you. <laughs> Hand off up the middle again to Jackson. To Quinton Jackson's had a couple of good runs here in this first series. Nice job and, and I think what you're seeing too, what, what Arkansas fans are gonna. On second down, time to throw over the middle again, and that pass is caught by Isaiah Satania. Satania, another track guy, so he's a track guy. Taylor Green's a track guy. Jalen Braxton defensively is a time the protection. They gave up a lot of sacks last year, and something they really want to get cleaned up this year. Again, the zone re kept by the quarterback, and again, Taylor Green. Let's see surf down the line of scrimmage to make it a little bit harder on the read for him. Luke has a tight end in motion. Handoff again. It's Jackson. And Jaquindon Jackson's probably saying, I didn't get hit this much when I was a quarterback. <laughs> you ready for the over? Pass towards the corner. Are we going to have our first flag? No. Good defense right there by Jaheim Singh. Third and seven. Green. To the back of the end zone's got a man. Touchdown, Tyrone Broden. From a 6'6 quarterback to a 6'7 wide receiver. <laughs> now you see this. This is that drive concept again. He's going to come. See, number 16 goes underneath. He comes over the top on the dig, goes to the second window. Taylor Green puts it up high for us. You know, where do you want to put the ball when you have a big receiver? Put it up high in the back <laughs> of the end zone where he can go get it. Nobody else come. He goes, extends, makes the catch, get a foot down. And Shipley off the upright is in. So now that was his attempt. Travis Williams and Bobby Petrino running to the other side of the field to coach those guys up. And now they're going to let a return man go. And that is Jordan Anthony. So a coach is waiting with him at the goal line. As soon as that ball... On first down, the handoff, bouncing it back this way is Augusta. Isaiah Augusta trying to switch directions. On second and 10, again, Augusta looking for somewhere to go. A good job by this red defense. Dump out, and again, a nice open field tackle. This time by Jalen Braxton, the all. Some pressure on some of these special teamers, see what they can do. Devin Bale, Great punt. really good punt. Wow, driving Braxton all the way back, and Braxton slips and falls at the 14. What a punt right there. <laughs> I don't think there's a punt. 
Green on first down. Comes back all the way across the field. That's a dangerous pass, but it's caught by Tyrone Broden. That's a long throw right there. It was, and good coverage on the play. They were right. Green steps up in the pocket, takes a shot down the field, and that's out of bounds. No chance for Broden on that one. Someone bridges there on the coverage. True freshman. It's a new world, and you said, you know, before you used to look at the development of players from one year to the next, and we talked to the coaches about it yesterday. Oh, here's Dubs. Rashad DeBinion breaks the tackles, gets the first down. With the transfer portal in today's college football. It's not easy to be a head coach anytime, especially these days. Again, that's a strong throw to Andrew Armstrong, who went up to get it. First and 10. Just drops it off to his running back. Rashad DeBinion. There's your profit plays right there. Right yeah, there. yeah. I'll tell you, that, I, I thought the defense might come out. And the pistol. Dinion pushing that pile forward. Look at him go. Get the first down with the help of the offensive line. And this Harmona coming into tackles. Really good players. They got in the transfer porter. Addison Nichols was a highly recruited kid at center. And you see that the depth that they want to create on the offensive line, especially, you know, you think of Sam Pitt. He's the O-line GA out there coaching. Green will go to the end zone. Did he get both feet in? Did he get foot in? He did. Touchdown, Andrew Armstrong. 20-yard touchdown pass. Another one perfectly placed by Taylor Green. What a beautiful throw. When you throw those go routes right there, you want the ball coming to the outside height. Now we have Shipley on. Again, just trying to test his range. And that time, no good. Team. And on first down, the handoff is to Augusta. Receptions throughout his career, gets everybody lined up. Always the right spot on the field. Pass over the middle, that is complete. Nicely done, hauled in by Dasmond James. A 12 year Handoff up the middle. And the ball comes loose, but they're gonna whistle this one down. They're going to say the ball was down. Punt we saw today went 65 yards. This is an end over end. And again, it's Braxton back there. There's only 37 yards. On first down, it's a handoff. Jackson trying to get outside, and he gets pushed out of bounds. With one second, nope, there goes the final second of this. And it looks like, from the sounds of it, Bobby Petrino is having a great time as well. Not worried about being a head coach as we see Taylor Green roll out and complete the pass nicely to Jordan Anthony. A long completion there. What is it like having Bobby Petrino back here at our... He is that. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I love the things that we're doing, angle blocking and think some things that we're doing in the run game. Like this? Here we go. How about this one? How was that one? JJ. I'm missing the game, by the way, but I think the team's doing good. With what has been the difference? Why do you think they've come together so quickly? Well, I think it goes along with the quarterback. You know, the quarterback's the guy that makes us go. I think he's become an, been an ultimate team guy. Uh, the feel of it, uh, you can feel it on our football team, and I really like where we're at right now. Another run right here by Jackson, pushing towards the end zone, and he's in again. The only job I'm Jackson. doing right now is, is it the one field goal team or not? So <laughs> Fountain can do that for right now. Hey, Coach, one thing I saw with the players, and I know as, as a coach, that special year. you got a big-time chance to have a special year. And to be honest with you, without it, you have no chance. Yeah. And uh, so we've worked a lot on that, but you have to give the credit to all the, the players. Fence is off to a good start. Coach, what are you doing down there? <laughs> oh, I'm just enjoying the day, you know. <laughs> hey, look, guys, I've got really good coaches. <laughs> The handoff on first down to Braylon Russell. This true freshman, another guy, true freshman, comes in, you know, second semester. No. They think he's going to be splitting it up with the one offense. But they are really excited about his, not just his running ability, his ball skills and everything that he can do.
C.J. Brown on the reception, another true freshman. You know, it's funny, when, when I hear about back, Bobby Petrino, there's some high formation in his background. And go back to a little bit of old school football that way with a big back and learning because now he's a fullback that can catch it coming out of the backfield. You hand it to him, can run it. He's a weapon. Number 67, five-yard penalty, still third down. Russell and Augusta in the backfield. Pressure coming, escaping on the run. And now they're gonna blow, whistle, and say he's down. Can't be nervous, but you put him in this situation in front of fans in a live situation in the stadium to see how they perform. This was with the wind, a low kick. And that's gonna be oh, down perfect. at the one. <laughs> a 69 yard punt by Sam Dubwick. Might not have looked pretty. Even a great time. Now here's Green from his own end zone. Oh, oh, oh. Heads off to Dubs and Dominion. Breaks a couple tackles, gets ripped down just shy of the 20-yard line. That's a good run. So I said, man, if he got a step closer to the quarterback, he might get an earful from Coach Pittman right behind him. On second and 17, the wide receiver slipped. That was Isaac Tuslaw. Well, on, in the fall, we're trying to pick up some yards. Today, we're taking a shot down the field. There's a pass complete <laughs> again. And the pass this time is to Isaiah Satania. That's the, the first stop by the uh, the 2D against the the 1-0 on, on the sack. The well, punt right here. He had the 65-yarder before into the wind again. This wow. One. Look at this again. Satania going back. Um, I would say so far, I, I think well, that's solidified. Right? Dylan Russell at the running back. On first down, it's Russell. And it's going to take a game yeah. to tackle that young man. <laughs> they, they brought a couple. I, I, I think Coach Petrino's over there and Coach Pittman. Nice toss down the sideline, and we've got no pass interference. The pass was intended for C.J. Brown. Jalen Braxton there on the cover. An island. I'm okay. I'll go take care of my guy and eliminate him. You see him right there breaking on the ball. The same guy, Jalen Braxton, breaking on the ball. Great job getting the arm around to go tip it away. That you have the confidence that you want to be the guy. Come throw at me. You know, he was saying that. But especially you're down here in the south. You get the barbecue, you got the sofa, you get it all. Taylor Green, long pass down the sideline. Perfect throw. Luke has the tight end. Not just the arm strength, but the accuracy of these throws. Look at off the play action, play action. Great protection up front. But he drops that ball into a perfect position for his tight end coming down the field. Great, pro you know, Coach Pittman will tell you, great protection right yeah. there. <laughs> I don't even think he saw the throw or the catch down the field. Great protection up front. But that was a problem last year with the O-line. And that, they're, they're much improved. That was the first real mistake. Off of those underneath ones. Second down and 10 from the 22. Jackson in the eye formation. Here is Jackson, another hard run. Gets, you're getting around to all the places, all the cat, what was it, the, the, the catfish. catfish. Here's Green, took a lot off that one to Has, Has, whoa, big hit. I gotta make sure that was Metcalf whose helmet came off. Gotta make sure he's all right. It's first and goal from the five. Hand off again up the middle. And that'll get a yard. So now second and goal from the four. Here down on the goal line. Toss to Jackson, and he's going to walk in for the end zone. That was almost too easy. So, hey, give credit to Taylor Green. He checked it, everything down, and he did the right play. Saw the look. And it, I, I'm sure they had two plays called in the, in the huddle right there, an inside run, outside run. Saw the defense coming to Hawaii is on right now for this extra point or field goal attempt. And with the wind blowing, Mahalo. Whoa, that just got in. <laughs> High school quarterback. It won't get any easier than that all year long, I promise you. <laughs> Kate, the runs made the throws, made the reads, but when he didn't, he just started running all over the place, and we never got close to catching him anywhere. K.J. Jackson now in at quarterback, swings it out to Braylon Russell, so you see the hands of Russell making the play, but then there's Landon Jackson. <laughs>
<laughs> Hand off. You're getting to see some of the future right here, though. They're really excited. This true freshman, K.J. Jackson, coming in from Montgomery, Alabama. Uh, you know, in, in with field here with Jackson on third and six. Pass over the middle, complete, nicely done. I'm sure the K KJ Jackson, they're excited. I mean, 6'4", 223. And James, the redshirt freshman, he's only 6'2", who made the catch. <laughs> this pass, incomplete. The intended receiver was James. They're not shy about but this corner blitz. It, they it's a spring. It's a spring game. They can change things up out there sometimes. The handoff to Augusta, nowhere to go. Cameron Ball again. Landon Jackson there, the two of those guys. Defensive in your front seven, you have an opportunity to be good. Jackson with time, takes a shot to the sideline and completes it to C.J. Brown. Nice job toe-tapping along the sidelines. If that were on Sunday, it would have counted. Another, another freshman. It's the fun thing about spring game. You get to see some of these new guys that you're going to see in the fall. These, You know, that freshman reporting day, it's like Christmas Day, that first practice. You get to go see what, what you got right there and, and what these guys, the young players, can do. And you bring it up, but we have to talk about it. We've talked so much about it. So that at some point, you know what your team's going to be for next year. Jackson in opposite role to the tight end. Posca and Andreas Posca transferred of Eastern Michigan in Denmark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he's learned some new dishes here in Arkansas that they don't serve in Denmark. On third and eight. You know, it's crazy. I went to dinner last night. Jackson pressure coming up the middle dumps it off to his running back Russell. And Russell, we, we heard he can catch the ball. He's shown he can make the adjustments and catch. Yeah, he, he does. They were excited about that, of, of his ball skills, position of the game. And they, they want to see how do we fix those things? How do we make those decisions to get better? Wow, they're going to blow this play dead. Don't take the sack by Carson Dean. That's a great coaching a moment for, out. for Taylor Come Green on. right there. Great. Coach Petrino is Taylor can't talk back to him on that one right there. <laughs> he didn't have to hear it. <laughs> Taking a shot. His man again, and it's number five. Tyrone Broden, 6'6 six, six to 6'7. Six, Page now make the quick decision. Rolling out to his right. On the run, throws, and he completes the pass to Andrew Armstrong. So there he is with his legs, buying some more time. Check down here. And I thought we had a whistle. Maybe we did it. It's a touchdown to Jaquindon Jackson. They're not sure? Hold yeah, on. they're not sure. Coach Pittman just waved his hand saying, no, 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 no. Hang on, hang on. Well, we're going to see what's going to happen. Well, the spring game. It's, but, you, but you see the decision, what, what you want to do right here. You saw the corner blitz coming. Quick decision. Replace the blitzer with the ball. Changed his arm angle right there to make that throw. Walk into. I think there was a whistle. So, but you know what? It's a spring game again. The yeah, Coach Albert's basketball team. <laughs> um, KJ Jackson has it knocked down by the newly married Landon Jackson. Oh. <laughs> On second down. Oh, nice open field tackle right there. Keon Stewart went low for a two-minute situation as well. Pressure up the middle, complete to C.J. Brown, and Brown trying to run to get out, and he can't, he's down. And that's one they're going to teach him right there, the, the situation. So that was third down situation that's going on in this game. It's going to be a handoff and going to be just short, a stop by the defense. Augusta could not get the couple yards right there. Got a two-minute situation. Coach saw what he needed to see. And uh, they'll say, hey, we'll call it halftime right here. And we'll face that expects championships. Yeah. Kyle Gallegos will kick off here. And a little bit of a return. Nope. And now they're going to blow the whistle and mark this one dead. Maybe, maybe some of these, right? They got play. How's that working out? Oh, it's pretty cool. You know, just hearing his voice, you know, uh, going back and forth with, you know, signals and, and his um, and him calling the plays, you know, I think it's pretty cool. I mean, uh, we've been practicing in the spring, so. His face, 
Nah, I, mean, <laughs> I would say I just let him do him. You know, I just let him uh, draw the plays and you know uh, dissect the defense. And, and I, all I got to do is you know soak everything up and, and, and go play ball. Beautiful day. So uh, I'll say the next step is uh, cleaning everything up and just getting ready for the fall. Taylor, one last question for you. Uh, speaking with everybody, whether it's coaches, teammates, whatever. They talk about your leadership qualities. What do you think? Uh, we call it, you know, just a brothers. You know, uh, it's not really a team. It's not really just one player. It's, it's a team, and uh, we call it, you know, embracing the hog and embracing and uh, being together. And that's what. And he is a kid, but he's a transfer to Boise State, and there's a reason for high hopes for the, for him. Well, you just see even talking to him right there. I mean, the presence he has. We talked about it. He came Full into the meeting with us yesterday. Has great presence about him. And you saw the leadership. He Parker, you're in really good shape. You, that's what you want, you know, because he's going to go to what he's sitting there and he's demanding. And everybody around him can listen to those demands, but they buy in because they know he's going to go do it. You know, and you look at all the great ones. AJ Jackson takes the high snap, gets hit, and that's going to be intercepted. Yes, it is picked off by Akari Johnson right along the sideline. And Akari, another true freshman, just came in. Or Taylor Green. And you watch how he prepares, how he learns, how he leads. You get to go see it. That's a great learning experience for a young quarterback to have that type of guy around as well. And also the relationship with Joe. Three plays, one, maybe two, three plays a game. Right? The difference maybe between them competing for a championship and them having a bad year. Yeah. That's how small the margin for error is. And I think for him, the, even he said the accountability with the coach, what type of team do we have the potential to have next season? Can you give him credit to sit there and say, hey, we trust this coach? Oh, here goes our man, Braylon Russell, the minibus. <laughs> Again, don't forget, that was 252 pounds coming at you. Yeah, you're going to have to, you're going to have to, you're not going to ankle tackle this guy. <laughs> Look, again, good blocking up front, but you watch him right here. One foot in the ground on the cut. Okay, throwing yourself down to the, his leg right there ain't going to cut it. You better get some friends and bring them to the party if you want to go try to tackle the big man. Yeah. Secret coach yeah, AD yeah, meetings yeah, that happen right. sometimes. You've been a part Can, of those? I, I, <laughs> you're one or two. <laughs> Give, give us a little taste of how that whole, because I, I think it came as a shock probably to a lot of people. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and um, he sat back in his chair, and I could tell he had a little bit of an interest, and huh. then we just started to kind of build that conversation from there. That would be a, that's a pretty good one. I, it it yeah, is. Um, there may be, is there another, you might save some for the book one day? Or yeah, no? absolutely. As you know, <laughs> Odom, who had been a former head coach that was on his staff when things got down or you need to run a decision by him about personnel or a player or whatever, he didn't have that last year. Mm -hmm. And Bobby's brought that to the table and then done his four seasons. Remember, his first season was COVID. We hadn't won an SEC game in multiple years. We went three and seven in an all SEC schedule. The next year we go nine and four. The next year we go seven and six. Yeah, things didn't go our way last year, but this was my first kickoff meeting uh, back in Phoenix last last week, and they give you this laptop that's got incredible, an incredible amount of statistical information analyzed in the top 30, 40 programs. Um, it's amazing the type of data and access to film that they give you to make test. To me, is a true thing. You can mm -hmm. look at the stats and see if the stats mirror up to your your eye test because you've got to do your job on that committee and watch football games. I, I've already prepared my wife for. Uh, I've got a reason now to watch a lot more college football this fall. Well, one, one, <laughs> a lot of fun. Awesome. For well, Hunter, so, thank you so much for joining us. It's my pleasure. Congratulations. Thank you. Congrats Congrats on everything. Yes. Thank you very much. Been a great spring so far. Thank you. That was the athletic director, Hunter Yurichek, joining us here during the spring game for Arkansas. It's a 32 to six game right now. Yes. All the different sports, it creates excitement around the university, bringing in John Calipari, the, the, I mean, the winning. Winning breeds winning. Mm -hmm. And trust me, on, on college campus is one thing that's different. These athletes all get to hang out together. I mentioned that big salad that I had last night. I was yeah. watching the Arkansas-Alabama baseball game, and it was a close one. Oh, what a great hit there by Dean to stop a touchdown. Carson Dean just playing the wood right there. Look. On second and goal. And this time, it's in. Becker with the touchdown here. But last night, I mean, the fans at this place watching the baseball game were.
Well, C.J. Brown just had a 75-yard touchdown reception for the white team as we have less than eight so far. Uh, it's only been a week, but it's been pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> good yeah. answer. You you missing the scrimmage last week, I think, uh, started the way. The... What do you think of how would you play? Uh, I feel like our defense played really good all together. We were flying around, making plays. Uh, we had to shut out the first half with the one defense out there. So I don't think we really could have done much better. I think Not just on the field, but off the field. Yeah, just the work, the work ethic all around. I mean, we're every day in, day out, putting in the extra time, uh, doing all we can to be the best version of ourselves every three hours. Uh, the coaches have to force him at the facility. So, I mean, nobody's a, nobody's a harder worker than him. So, I mean, he's he's doing great. Well, I think you're a pretty hard worker too. Yes. So they may make some more changes as we go forward, but that's going to do it from Fateful Arkansas for the red and white spring game. A reminder that all games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archives on the ESPN app. For Dan Mullen and our entire crew, I am Justin Kutcher saying thanks for watching SEC Network College Football. Watch out for the Hogs. It's going to be a different team come this fall.